So begin with a mild dumbbell because this is a very technical movement and we're only going to go halfway. So I'm focused on my right foot that's going to push into my glute and my left elbow that pushes into the ground. Notice that my left foot will barely move. If I lift my left foot, I'm activating my left hip flexor and I don't want to do that. So I, I think of that foot, I think of that hand, I push really hard and it managed to not come up, which is a really good thing. And then I go up to this halfway point right there, come back down, slow controlled and back down again. Now again, I'm going to really think of that heel and then that left elbow. So it's kind of an opposite side. I'm using my posterior chain from my right side foot and my left side shoulder. Okay, and so that's how I'm really trying to get up. Your instinct will be to lift your left foot and you gotta really try it. So this is why it has to be maybe just a five pound weight or even some people start with a shoe. Notice too that my hand is open on it. So with this open, open hand, you can also use a kettlebell for this. Kettlebell will work great and you'd hold it with the same grip. But with a dumbbell, I'm actually stabilizing it with this open, open hand idea. I want it to just sit in my palm. If I grip it, I might not be stabilizing my shoulder. The whole idea is to get my posterior chain to coordinate that hip and that shoulder. Meanwhile, I'm coordinating the shoulder that has the weight and it sits more right into my shoulder socket. Okay, and that's what our goal is. We're trying to show that shoulder that's stabilizing the weight while the rest of the core is working and balancing out properly. I can stabilize at all these different angles that your shoulder goes on. And always try to remember to breathe at different points there. So you're controlling your breath and breathing into your, into your stomach and into your chest. So again here, I'm gonna push into that left glute now and my right elbow and then come up halfway. I should honestly try to extend my hips a little bit more from this angle, but pretty good and come back down nice and controlled. So again, it's, it's more about the ability for me not to really lift that right foot at this point and activate the hip flexor, just using the posterior chain in this movement pattern. Take your time, take a little extra breaks in between if you need.